So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to your Steam library. Just imagine that this is CS2. Now once you find CS2, you want to right click on it, and then click on properties, and then click on installed files, and then click on browse. And now this will come up. And now once we're here, you just want to find the cs2.exe file. So it's going to be saying cs2.exe with a picture of the CS2 logo. It might not say exe for you though, it might not say that. But at the very least, it's going to be saying CS2 with a picture of the CS2 logo. Now once you find that, you want to right click on it, and then click on properties, and then click on the compatibility tab, and then you want to select run this program in compatibility mode, disable full screen optimizations, and then click on OK. Now you just want to try launching CS2, see if that works for you. And now for the next method, you want to head over to your Steam library. Once you're in our Steam library, you want to find CS2. Now once you're in CS2, you want to right click on it, and then click on properties, and then under launch options, you just want to try both of these commands, which will be down below in the description. You want to try them one by one. So for the first one, we're just going to copy this, go to Steam, and then paste it right here, close out of this. Now you want to try to open up CS2, see if that works for you. If that does not work, you want to right click CS2, go to properties, and then do the same thing with the second command. Second command, we're going to copy it, paste it right here, close out of this, and then you want to launch CS2, see if that works for you. And now for the next method, you want to right click on CS2, and then click on properties, and then click on installed files. Now you want to select verify integrity of game files. Wait for this to load. Once it fully loads up, try to open up CS2 again, see if that works for you. If that's still not working, then you want to right click on CS2, click on manage, and then click on uninstall. Then you just want to install it again, see if that works for you. And now for the next method, you just want to simply restart your computer, see if that works for you. 